Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out this video. With this video, what I thought I would do is show you how to add a watermark to an image and also make it so that you can add it to either vertical or horizontal or square images, and then also uh, set it up so that Photoshop can run through an action and you can completely automate it so that if you have 200 images pulled up, you can push a button and it's going to run through and add watermarks to all those images, whether they're vertical or horizontal. So let's get started. Uh, I have all these images here pulled up and uh, they're all sized uh, at the same size. So generally you need to figure out what size you're working with and then choose the smallest measurement. Uh, so for instance, we have all these are either 8x10s, 8x12s, or 8x8s sized at 300 dpi. So what I want to do is take my smallest measurement, which is going to be the 8-inch measurement, and create a document based on that smallest measurement. And so what we're going to do is go up here to create a new document. We're going to do New and create a new document called Watermark. And this is what we're going to create for our watermark. Uh, we're going to do an 8x8 because that's our smallest dimension at 300 dpi with a transparent background. And click OK. And what we want to do is come in here. We're going to actually um, just add a layer. And basically what we're going to do is just type in what, whatever we want for our watermark. So I'm going to do my photos. And with this, uh, I, I've used the Tahoma small caps. I always like the little thicker letters for these. And we have a couple different options. One option is we can basically just, this could be our watermark right now. We could save this as our file, as our watermark, and this would work fine. It could be something that simple. You can also take the opacity back so that you can see through it and um, pretty much do anything like that. So, you know, that could be your watermark or it could be full blown where you can't see through it at all. Um, there's a couple different options. Uh, what I thought with with this one, it, what's kind of interesting is you can actually come in here and if you command click, double click on here, it loads it up as a selection. And what we, we're going to do is we're going to basically get rid of the, the type right now. We're going to get rid of the My Photos here and just drag it and get rid of it. What we still have is the ma marching at ants because we loaded it as a selection by clicking on it earlier, by double doing a command double click on that little thumbnail. And we've loaded it as a selection. So I'm going to zoom in here and you should be able to see the marching ants a little bit. It's kind of tough to see on uh, the invisible background here. So what we're going to now do is actually come up to edit and we're going to add a stroke to this. And it's going to add a stroke to our selection. So since, or to our path. So this is our path here. You can see the H and here's the P. And uh, basically what we're going to do is do a center as far as the location goes. We're going to do about 15 pixels and uh, to, for the stroke and click OK in black. So now we have uh, basically that loaded up. We're going to go ahead and deselect the, marching, the selection or the marching ants. And that's going to be our logo. So now what you're going to have is for your for your watermark you're going to be able to see through the the center of the the letter which is kind of you know just something a little different. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save this as it is. We're going to save this to that new file. Now let's find it. We got to go to our desktop and then watermark. and then watermark again. And that's we're going to just basically drop that in there. So at this point, we have this saved from now on. Now, the trick is you, you have to figure out where you're going to want your watermark in your image. Um, sometimes you're going to want it higher or lower or something like that. So generally, what I will do is I will put a couple of those up on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple command J's to add a couple watermarks. Now, with this, what we can do is just kind of scoot them around so that it's they're not in one spot. We can basically just slide them from area to area until we, you know, basically figure out where we want to put it. We can, go, you know, do a free transform and turn it sideways. So if you want to have the sides covered up and the top and the bottom covered up, you can do that too. So if you assume your your most of your images, if you're shooting like portraiture, your heads or subjects might be more in the center. So you're going to want them to kind of encroach in in that area a little bit. So you know you can basically put them wherever you want to put them. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, 
get these layers together, we don't want to flatten them. What we want to do is actually merge the visible layers. If you flatten them, it'll actually change it to white in the background, and we don't want to have white behind here. We want it to be transparent. So now we have our logo. We're going to go ahead and save that again because let's say this is the one we're going to want to use from now on. So we're going to just save that. That'll be our new logo. And then basically all we have to do is, is copy and paste it. So at this point, what we can do is to, to copy and paste it, what we're going to do is go up to select, select all. So we're selecting the entire image. We're going to go to edit and copy. And then what we can do is just go over here to one of the images and click edit and paste. And that pastes our, our, our watermark across our image. So whether it's vertical or horizontal, it's centrally located in the image. So it'll, it'll basically add it to all the images. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this out for a minute. Just go ahead and delete it for now. And now what I thought we could do is actually create an action to do this for us. So here's what we're going to do. So if, you, if you're thinking of the, how this is going to work later, what you're going to want to do is basically push the button and have it add this to all the images. Uh, you don't want to have this showing up on your desktop when you're actually running the action. Otherwise, it will flatten this out and change your logo. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, just kind of follow along with me for a moment. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all again on this to select the whole image. And then we're going to do edit and copy to make sure we have that copied. And then basically at this point we can close this out because we're finished with this. So now what we're going to do is to create the action, what we're going to do is change this away from button mode. And we're going to come down here to create a new action icon. Just click on that. And we're going to call this adding watermark. And it's going to be under default actions. You can assign it a color if you want, or you can assign it uh, a, a spe specific key sequence or whatever you want to do. Let's just give it a blue for now. It might make it easier for me to find in a minute. So what we're going to do is, is basically press record. And what we're going to want to do is all these images are the ones that are saved in our watermark folder specifically, not our original files. So what we're going to want to do is basically press the, the action starting at this point to continue to basically take this image, paste the watermark over the image, and then close out the file and then move on to the next one. So since we, we have already saved that image of the watermark in it's, it's been copied already. So now all we have to do is come up here to paste, come up here and to go to edit, paste, and that pastes in the watermark. We can even come down here to save, or I'm sorry, go to the um, layers palette, pull out the side menu and then flatten image. And it's recording this as we go. And then what we want to do is just basically save it. And what we're going to be doing is saving it with the watermark on it. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and close this file out. Now the trick is we don't want to close it by just Xing it out because the computer won't see that. What we need to actually do is go back up to File and then Close. And that's our action. So now what we can do is, is Stop. And we're, we'll go back to the button mode at this point and then switch it back find our action so that we're ready to go. So what we need to do is just find our action and then what we can do is just add just basically at this point it's ready to go. So since we've saved it already we're just pretty much a straight shot and we can just punch the button it's going to run through the action. The trick is is right now that we we've, we've done the copy already so what you have to remember is when you pull this up and you haven't been working on it before you always have to remember to pull up that that watermark, do a select all, edit, and copy. Because if you don't do that, it's going to put down whatever you copied last under this image. So always make sure that you do a select all first. You pull up the watermark when you're getting ready to do the images. The first thing you're going to do is select it, do a select all. So you'll come up here and do the select all again on the, the watermark and then do a edit and copy. And then you close out of it. And then at that point, it's ready to run. So then at that point, all you'll have to do is add the watermark. 
it's going to basically run through these. Now at this point, you don't want to stand here and or sit here and hit the button a hundred times or however many images you have up. So what we're going to do is go up to automate. So you go up to file, automate, batch, and then you choose whatever you want to have done. Um, it was in my default actions and then it was just adding the watermark. So all the source for me is going to be opened files. And basically, as soon as I hit this, it's going to run through all the files I have pulled up, grab the, the image, run through all those steps, and close out of it and move on to the next image until everything's gone. So when you do this, you don't want to have, have anything else pulled up on your Photoshop desktop. And you also want to make sure everything is our copy so you're not working with the originals. So we're going to go ahead and just hit this and basically you'll see it run through this really fast. So what it's doing is basically adding the watermark to all these images, saving and copying it, and then closing out of the files. So if you have two or three hundred images running, it's going to basically run all those for you. And then right now, if we go ahead and pull all these images up, we will see that effect. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on these and pull all these up. So it's adding all the images it's just pulling up that we just pulled up from here. And they all have our watermark on them. So we just go through and check them all out. Basically the watermark's been added to everything. It's been centered because we use the smallest dimension. They don't run long or run wide. And this will work if you end up doing solid type in here. So if you end up doing a solid logo or watermark, it'll show up as a solid. You could have a solid white in here. It just depends on how much of the image you want to cover up or have showing. Uh, so that's that's kind of how it works and it works great. I've been using this system for a long time and it's a quick and easy way to get the watermarks added to your images. Um, you can scoot them around if you want, but basically it's when everything's sized the correct way, it makes it real simple to just go in and add these uh, watermarks to images and just automate the system. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully this will help you out. If you have any comments, please shoot me a comment or if you have questions, I'd be happy to try and answer anything for you also. Thanks for watching.